five ways to Friday, one item, style five different ways. Well, hello and welcome back to my channel, Age is Just a Number, and my name is Barbara Jean. This is a channel for women over 40, 50, 60, 70 and beyond who have a love of fashion and beauty and it is all about fashion today because it is everybody's favorite series, Five Ways to Friday, where I take one item and style it five different ways. As a personal stylist, I tell my clients don't invest in it unless you can style it at least three different ways. I take it a step further and I style it for you five different ways from my closet. So, style inspiration from my closet to your closet. <clears throat> All right. What are we going to do today? We're going to do a request. Several people requested more outfits with the Honey Love faux leather leggings. And how the mature woman can wear them. So I thought, well, you know, what better time? It's cooling off everywhere to bring out some sweaters and jackets and show you more ways than you've already seen of how I can style these beautiful faux leather leggings. Now I did a video in a comparison of doing Honey Love leggings versus Spanx and for the most part Honey Love kind of hit it up a notch <laughs> and it's because Spanx feels more like a spandex material fabric to where the Honey Love faux leather leggings feel mo more like a leather and have the texture and the look of the leather so and they have the zipper at the bottom which is really cool to get your feet in and out so I put together some outfits that you know they're going to be from casual to drama. Let's just say drama. The last outfit is going to be a drama, and I know it may not be for everybody, but you know, hey, we are all different. Not everybody likes wearing faux leather leggings, but this is for the ones that do. So, are you ready to get started on this? <laughs> all right, so here is the faux leather leggings from Honey Love, and I wanted to, so you can show you again so you can see that texture up here on that and of course I was telling you about the zipper there it is it's got an opening and then you can close it back up which is very very convenient they are high-waisted and they are absolutely fabulous so for the first outfit because I'm gonna put the video up over here all right what I have taken is cashmere square is that how you do it? Two by two? No. Double cashmere. How's that? Let's just call it double cashmere. I have taken a cream colored cashmere sweater and I have placed over it a raglan sleeve, three quarter sleeve cashmere in this beautiful rust color and it is Let's see, it goes down to about to my knee, as you can see here in the photo. It does have a tie, but I didn't put the tie with it. Now, this could have easily, because I was just trying to color block the, the, uh, the colors on here, but wouldn't this have been pretty on top of the green, the green cashmere sweater that I am wearing? So that would have been an option as well too. So keep that in mind when you are styling you know, because these are fall colors, you know, you look at the leaves and everything. And I have, I think I even have like a darker beige that would go with that too, to bring out that color. So what I did, I thought this was an outfit that I would even just wear for a casual day. I would wear at home um, on a cold day, the two, cough, the two soft, cozy cashmere sweaters and the little slip-on shoes by um, Cole Haan, which I'll show you right here. They are right here. These are just a little slip-on loafer by Cole Haan with the animal print. 
and the uh, calf hair. Now animal print isn't trending as much right now. Animal print, whether it's zebra, snake, or um, leopard, is still a neutral. So don't get rid of your animal print yet. It's just not as big, but still putting little pieces of it in as a neutral in your outfit still works. All right, we ready for the next one? Okay, this one outfit I absolutely love. This one is my, it's a beautiful warm red sweater and it's a turtleneck. It is by, see if you know the brand, if you live, my northern friends up there may know it probably, but yes, it is a Canadian Goose sweater, and I love the sleeves that they're banded down here. This is just absolutely gorgeous. I think this sweater is still available. If it is, I will put a link below to it below. But I thought this paired with the with the leather. And then because I just had to go there. My fry combat boots. You know how much I love these things. I absolutely I think every woman should have a pair of heeled black quality combat boots in their closet. So that was outfit number two. So outfit number three, we are going to go to a very preppy, almost preppy look, casual, but still business-like. I would wear this to the office. I would wear it out to lunch. I would wear it shopping. I could wear this outfit anywhere, not to a uh, an after five party or anything like that, but I think that it is a very comfortable and a classic outfit look. The black leather leggings on top of a top that is a combination white long sleeve with a red vest. Wouldn't this be cute to wear to work for your holiday luncheon? And then of course I paired it with the comfortable black lug sole loafers. So this outfit is just something I think, you know, I would definitely wear it to work and because um, it covers everything that needs to be covered. And it's just, it's got the touch of red for the holiday festive little bit in it. So that is, and I got this one. This is from, by Siami. And it is, I found it at Marshall's. And... It's called Rusty Eggshell. <laughs> I don't know. But I just got this the other day and I had to pull it out. I thought that would look great with the leggings. That's why I saw it. I'm just like, oh, I've got to pair that with the leggings. But it would look great with jeans and boots as well, too. So that's one, two, three. Outfit number four. Did I say preppy? Okay. How about... Um, I've lost my words. Equestrian. <laughs> All right. I pulled out a black turtleneck. Now, this just happens to be, <coughs> excuse me, by Chico's. And I've had it a while. This happens to be a three-quarter length sleeve. I also have this very same one in a long sleeve. And then I have other um, long sleeve black turtleneck sweaters and it's a fine gauge so it's perfect for layering so what we're going to do is we're going to put it over my Mazamo duty blazer uh, the black and tan check on top of the faux leather leggings and then as you can see here let me turn oh i got to turn this around as you can see what i paired it with are my fry equestrian style boots these are they've got the harness on them but these suckers will go forever any kind of anything that you buy from fry they are they are quality and they are going 
to last. It's got the little pull on, but it does have a full zipper. These are just timeless. And an equestrian look is always very timeless as well, too. So even like if you were going to go to, um, you know, just a, a, a posh shopping center, you know, uh, it doesn't mean you're going to go pay, play polo, but it's just in this a style aesthetic. And it's always a very classic and conservative look. So I think it's a hits home in my classic notebook. All right, we've got one more, and this is the one that I was telling you may not be for everybody, but I absolutely love it. So the leggings, we are bringing out, or actually I just left it on, the black turtleneck, okay? Now remember that this you could wear with the long sleeve too. This was the three quarter length sleeve. But what I put on top of it is this gorgeous faux chinchilla vest. It is so soft. It has no tag in here. I thrifted this years ago. And just putting this with leggings and a black turtleneck, just, I just love it. Now, what... As you can see in there, what's the killer are the boots. These are Vince Camuto suede. They are a smaller heel. They are like two and a quarter, maybe, inches. Um, they are an almond toe, more rounded. They're not too pointy, but they are still, you know, um, enough pointy to be elongating. But... They are over the knee boots with the, the, uh, the big leather suede flap up here. Be great for a pirate costume, but <laughs> I thought they were great with the outfit uh, because it was just this long, lean look. You can't tell where the boots stop and the leggings end and the vest hits right at the right place. And it's got that, it, it takes your eye away from the boot but you wear this into a restaurant or somewhere and you will get noticed and um yeah i think it's a great look it's uh and it's fun as well too and it's on that side that you're not really showing anything but still because of the faux leather the tall boots the fur it's still a very um just a little sexy a little sexy outfit so I know it's not for everybody so but I wanted to mention right here too in every one of these outfits I was wearing my Nord Green watch because Nord Green is still having their Black Friday sale and you know they've got so many classic looking watches this what happens to be the Unica with the white dial and then I added my brown leather um, watch on it i also have let me find it here i have the black band or the black dial also that looks fantastic with the uh, brown watch uh, band so that is a sale that's going on if you need or if you want to get somebody a really nice gift right now is a great time to get a beautiful watch for them that link will be down below for you also uh wanted to mention another big sale if i can get them here uh dossier who makes the um designer inspired fragrances i've got my three favorite right here and this one is uh the amber cherry which is um it is a inspired fragrance for tom ford's lost cherry it is so the sweetness is so sensual i absolutely love it the woody sandalwood is so deep and spicy it is the dupe inspired for Le Labo. And then I've also got Spicy Orchard, Orchard, Spicy Orchid, 
which is the inspired uh, for Tom Ford's Black Orchid. And it is just so sensual as well too. So these are three of my favorite. They come in, um, they're sustainable in their packaging. It's a wonderful company and, and they just have the prices you cannot beat for what you're getting out of it. Now, they do have a sale on right now and it is, I think if you buy three, you get 20% off. If you buy three, you get 30% off. And if you buy four, I think you get 40% off. 20, 30, 40. Yeah, 30, three, you get my drift. I'll put the link down below. I'll put it here on the, I'll put it here on the screen. <laughs> it's confusing. So, okay. Yes, but they're just, uh, it, they make great gifts and gifts for yourself as well too. And no one would ever know that it's uh, not a fragrance that you spent hundreds of dollars for. Some of these go for in the hundreds. And uh, so they are a great value. So with that said, I think that's it. All right, ladies, I do have an announcement to make though. And this is going to be the last five ways for Friday. This is the last one in November. December 1st, I start Vlogmas. And that's where I do a vlog of my life in the day and different things. And that is going to be every single day. That means filming and editing and uploading and, and everything. And it's very, very time consuming, which I'm excited about doing it because it's always so much fun and everybody seems to enjoy it. So I'm not going to be able to do Five Ways to Friday um, for the month of December. But what I will do is I will be putting some outfit inspiration into my videos and I will be uploading shorts as well too of just some outfit inspiration for you so um, yeah so that's all I've got right now so I'm gonna get out of here if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing ring that little bell so you'll be notified every time I make a video now on my uh, five what excuse me my vlogmas I don't know if I'll have a upload schedule or not so go ahead and ring that little bell once you're subscribed and that way it'll send you a notification that I just uploaded it so all right ladies I'm gonna get out of here remember what I tell you I tell you every single day to get up and show up because you're worth it so until I see you in my next video have a very safe and a very blessed day